if you're in a, if you if your circle of knowledge is the same circle that you had when you were growing your wealth and you never grew past that and you never left that circle to go seek more knowledge then yes you will have certain problems what do you think is the <clears throat> the biggest frustration with um with the ultra high net worth individuals and and their capital gains tax uh problems like what do you think they just what do you think is the biggest problem yeah the the circle that they're in you know it's all about who's in your circle of knowledge right if you're in a if you if your circle of knowledge is the same circle that you had when you were growing your wealth and you never grew past that and you never left that circle to go seek more knowledge then yes you will have certain problems because there's there's what they call the informed and the uninformed you know, I, I always say this, America is the best tax haven in the world. A lot of people look at me like, what? We paying up? No, this country is so good. That's why I love America, man, because, you know, I don't know why people complain all day long. I said, go leave it outside and see what's going on. First of the first thing you know, when you know a country is strong, right, is the amount of money the U.S. government spends on defense. Yeah. Just that alone should give you peace of mind knowing there ain't no bomb coming in here somebody bombing you why so people you know so i i just sit and watch you know i'm a immigrant from africa i came here so i know how they treat over how people roll over there but coming in and becoming a citizen i just love the country and I understand the fact that listen if you put your mind to the ground and you work hard and you do what you're supposed to do and you learn the system then a lot of doors open up for you yeah no absolutely and it's uh <clears throat> i was talking to i was talking to another um a friend of mine on the show the other day and he was saying that like you know it's like what like four pages in the whole irs code that's like actual like tax what you got to pay and then the the other you know 12 million pages or whatever it is is like all about incentives on how to how to do business and not have to not have to pay them so you know there's a it's just a shift in the mindset right like yeah we don't want to pay taxes right that we don't have to pay i'm okay with paying the taxes i'm obligated to paying of course right like you know we just want to make sure they're being good stewards of our resources of course um you know but there's a lot of incentives out there and a lot of different ways that that you can um play the game yeah definitely i mean there is the tax code is huge you know and but again the same people that wrote the code also wrote a loophole to the code, right? So there's always that. So the key is not, you know, not to pay taxes. Yeah, you want to pay your fair share of taxes. We just don't want to be giving away tips, right? you know? You know, if I go to a restaurant, they told me, and they, they make it easy. You look on the receipt, they tell you, okay, your tip is 20%, 15 It's up to you. If you want to give 40%, the waitress ain't going to say, well, you know, you overpaid. Right. and give you back your money right she's not gonna do that she'll say thank you and you're like man why is she thanking me so much well because you <laughs> i've never heard it explained that way and it's brilliant and i'm taking it for sure <laughs> it's tips we don't want to be paying tips just our bill yeah just pay what you're supposed to pay man they didn't and serve you... us that great yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> So, you know, and it, you know, the, like I, the IRS is a collection agency. That's yeah. really, it. they collect money, you know. So in 1913, when the IRS was in, the taxes was introduced to America, they introduced two tax systems, basically, basically it's system for the wealthy and the system for everyone else. But the wealthy that they introduced the system for, you got to be informed. Right. Not the uninformed wealth. The uninformed wealthy are the ones that are looking for Cayman Island escapes and offshore banking and spending all this money to go outside the country to go put money. The ones that are informed keep the money right in the United States. And a lot of other wealthy families from all over the world, they bring their money to the U.S. And a lot of people have no clue. That's why America, the security is tight. Just think about it. If you have all your money in your house right now, how much yeah. security are you going to have outside your door? A lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a that's an interesting idea because I've I've talked to a bunch of different people who are, you know, deploying strategies to go to Puerto Rico and and that type of thing and and you know just transferring funds and the strategy doesn't suck. 
you know, yes. from, from, you know, what, uh, what they got going on. But I mean, it's a, it's definitely a different, a different animal altogether. So